Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I've got a problem because within the next month I have five films I want to watch in the cinema. Yep, that is a lot. I think it's the most I've ever wanted to watch in that short space of in that short of a space of time. And I'm gonna list the five off for you now because why not? We have Jurassic World Dominion, which is already out, Top Gun Maverick, which I think is also already out, or is coming out this week, um, Elvis, which I'm very, very excited for, actually, very curious to see how well Austin Butler portrays the king of rock and roll himself, um, throughout his many years of music and his, obviously his little hiatus in the 60s, kind, kind of, um, so I'm very excited to see how that goes, um, we of course also have Minions, The Rise of Gru, and, of course, for Love and Thunder. And I kind of have a couple of questions for you guys. A, do you want me to even mention them? Do you want me to talk about my thoughts on them? Whilst, what do you guys want to see? Two, if you do want to see me talk about them, do you want them in a separate video? So, like, each film has a separate video for them. Or, three, do you want them in a soundcast? Or, multiple because there is no way I'm going to be able to watch all these within a week. Like, I literally do not have enough time off work, enough time off work in a week. So, um, yeah, we'll be separate as downcasts or separate videos if you guys even want me to talk about them at all. Because I don't know, because that'll be a lot of film-based videos or downcast sections. But just let me know, guys, because I am really excited for all these films. I'm going to be honest. I'm planning to watch um, Top Gun Maverick. Next week, um, Jurassic World Dominion, I'm not sure. Do not know. I'll be getting back to you guys on that one. Um, but of course, we also have Fall of and Thunder, which I know I'm going to watch. Um, we have Elvis, which I'm hoping to watch. And um, Minions Rise of Gru, I'm probably going to be watching. But I think the one that I'm most excited for, well, actually, there's two that I'm most excited for, is Fall of and Thunder and Elvis, because... I'll be honest, don't know much about Elvis. I've got to be honest, he's always just been there. Saying that, until Bohemian Rhapsody, it was very much the same with Queen. And they're now my favourite band. Ever. So, don't be surprised if I become an Elvis fan after this film. Because I have heard a couple of his songs, and I can very much understand why he's the king of rock and roll. So, very curious to see how that film goes. And, I'm actually just going to say this, I've noticed a parallel between Bohemian Rhapsody and Elvis. And that is, two of the actors they've had in them. Well, one, Bohemian Rhapsody. Wayne's World, film from the 90s, Mike Myers, also known as Shrek, um, featured Bohemian Rhapsody because he really loved the song and wanted it in the film. Even though the... Execs almost said no, but he said, if it is any other song, I will not be doing the film. So they caved, put the song in, and it kind of brought Queen back. And then, in Bohemian Rhapsody in 2018, wow, that's a long time ago now, oof, Mike Myers had a cameo as Queen's manager. And what do you know? Forrest Gump, Elvis, had a cameo, and who is playing Elvis's manager? Tom Hanks, Forrest Gump himself. So I just noticed a little parallel a couple of days ago, so I thought, okay, Tom Hanks, interesting casting. And then, as I was saying that in my brain, Penny dropped. Oh, that's, that's cool. And then I also realised the parallel. Oh, okay. But honestly, really looking forward to Th Thor Love and Thunder. It also seems to be the lot, the shortest MCU film for a few years now, clocking in at one hour and 59 minutes. Yeah. Curious to see how that goes. Um, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video on my little cinema conundrum coming up over the next month. So, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my Roxanne's and Frost's YouTube channels. That links are in the description, that's a button. Down there, of course, yeah, that big red one. Unless you've already subbed, then it's grey. Thank you for that, by the way. And 
Once you've done that, please don't forget to click all three of our bell icons, get all three sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why not? And to let me know what you want me to do with these films in terms of videos or the Stamcasts or anything. Um, once you've done that too, please don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. They'll be in the link tree in the description. And please, while you're down there as well, check out Roxanne's website and Frost's Instagram. They'll be below the link tree. And lastly, please don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, a following and a sharing and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with my overview for episode five of Obi-Wan Kenobi and episode two of Miss Marvel. Goodbye.